this flex seal? If I could get my hands on that guy. Some people just want to watch the world burn. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna pick it up, I promise. Welcome to Demolition Ranch, nature edition. We've got this beautiful stream here. Life is good out on the ranch. Now, I, since I was a young man, well, a few years ago, I decided that I loved race glocks. And I really wanted a race clock. A race clock is like one that's like made to go fast, just like a race car. Like it's, it's just not your everyday glock you pick up off the shelf. It's tuned, it's awesome, it's got ports and grip and it's so awesome and I've always wanted one the problem is lots of companies make them you can make them yourself you can have like a local guy do it I didn't know what to do and so I've just kind of been holding off and just researching and then I found one I was just in LA not too long ago and unbeknownst to me outside of LA there is a gun range like right outside of LA and I found out they make a race clock so they actually make the Glock that John Wick uses in the movie. And uh, that's where Keanu Reeves trains. I don't know if you guys saw the video that went viral a couple years ago. It's Keanu Reeves running and gunning. And it went totally viral because he's uh, like a movie star, like a Hollywood type, but he's shooting real guns and he looks like a pro. And that's because he was trained by a pro. He was trained by Taryn. And he's out at Taryn's range in that video, running and gunning. So I thought, I wanna be like John Wick, and so maybe I should go out to Taryn's range and check it out. So we got in contact with Taryn. We went out there, uh, Keanu was there. Well, no, John Wick was there. I met John Wick that day. <laughs> Even considering all the people that I've watched John Wick kill, John Wick was very polite that day. So then we went to the shooting range. I did not know, but if you have the right licenses, you can get pretty much anything in California. We shot a bunch of crazy things. Damn! Nice. Holy crap! Shoot ready? <laughs> Stand by. My favorite had to have been the P90 though. Not PS90, no, no, no. It was full auto, short barrel, P90. Shooter ready? He might be shooting past you. Then it was time for Taryn to show me my new pistol. Let me show you real quick, and then we'll head back out to Taryn's range. slide cuts that we invented for the movie John Wick Chapter 2. Put our fiber optic front sight on here. The fiber's at the very top, so you don't mistake it for the blade and the dot get confused. Got our rear sight on there too. It's dialed in if the up and down is perfect. You can adjust left and right in the back how you like it. Exactly. Iron bonded barrel, uh, high polish finish. Our guide rod, our spring. Trigger's different too, right? Yeah. We uh, scallop around the mag release button, oh, yeah. radius all the sharp edges off of it. Yep. 
This is a Glock 17L Combat Master made by Terran Tactical Innovations. It just has the frame of a Glock 17, which is their regular full-size 9mm Glock, and then it has a extra long slide. So a Glock 34 comes about right here, the 17L comes to there. And then it's cut here. He has ports on both sides. There's a port on the top. He's cut these grooves up front all down the side. He has cut more in the back as well. Look, he's even got Demolition Ranch logo laser engraved onto the Glock. It's got some nice competition sights with fiber optic up front. Trigger job extended mag well back here so you can easily get those mags in there. It's cut out around the mag release to so drop it easily. Steel guide rod and new spring in there. And I have only shot this out at Terran's range, but we're gonna change that today. This video is also a viewer request video. I had two comments recently that were kind of similar and I thought, yeah, I kind of want to know both those things too. One of them was, can pillows stop a bullet? The other was, do pillows actually suppress the noise? Of a bullet. You've seen in movies where someone doesn't have a silencer on their gun and they want to make the shot quiet, they'll put a pillow on the end of the gun and they'll fire and no one hears. Does that actually work? There's only one way to know. I, for your viewing pleasure, have brought out a few guns. Glock 17L. It is made primarily for competitions. This is a Canik or Shonik TP9 SFX, also made primarily for competitions. This is an STI DVC Tactical, also made primarily for competitions. These are all three race guns chambered in 9mm. This one is definitely way less expensive. It is kind of an entry level competition gun. If you're just getting started, it's a great gun. I love it. But it's, it's not as good as these. It's way cheaper. These two are Price pretty much the same. This one is kind of based off a 1911. They call this a 2011. So if you like that style, it has a hammer back here and it has a really nice trigger like a 1911. This one is based, well, it's a Glock. And so a lot of people like this style. They like the striker fire pistol. And so it's just different preferences on those two. Very similar on price with those. Let's go ahead and shoot them. I wanna shoot this one first. Then we'll go to this one, and then we'll go to the Combat Master. TP9 SFX. <laughs> yeah. It's just a great gun. It's a great gun. The DVC Tactical. Oh, I love this gun. I love it so much. It is such a nice gun. It's so pretty too. Just a really pretty gun. I think this one holds 21. I think this one holds 21 as well. The Glock with the extended base plate I think holds 22 in the mag. Woo! I haven't shot this thing in Texas yet. I think that was me. Yeah, that was me. I was used to shooting this gun, and when you shoot this gun, you ride your thumb on the safety right there. So this thumb goes here, this thumb rides the safety, and you fire. And so I just came off that DVC tactical, and I was riding this, which is not a safety. That is the mag release. When it came back, I had my thumb down like that, so it came back in that last round and closed. That was my fault. It should have locked open but I was preventing it from doing that. What is that? Slow is smooth and smooth is, I don't know. Yeah! Okay, lock back that time when I move my thumb out of the way. Here's what we got, I got 10 pillows. Uh, I wanted to buy like 40, but I was like, man, this lady at Walmart's definitely going to judge me if I'm buying 40 pillows. So I'll just buy 10, and if she asks about it, she'll be like, my wife said we need new pillows. It's always weird when you buy a bunch of something weird at Walmart, which, having a YouTube channel, you do that a lot. You buy a bunch of weird stuff. 
I get judged a lot. Oh, by the way, we have uh, new shirts. Stand for those who stood for you. And on the back, so there are Veterans Day shirts. We're selling them until Veterans Day. So if you'd like to get one, link in description. And the best part about it, it's a fundraiser we're doing. We're trying to raise funds. Uh, we're gonna donate it to Fisher House Foundation, which is a charity for veterans. So if you're interested in helping out with our little fundraiser, we'd love your help. And uh, yeah, till Veterans Day, link in description. I love you. All right, 10 pillows. There's no way this is gonna stop a nine millimeter. And I mean, I could have gone with like 40 and it might have, but like, what, what's the point of Everything is bulletproof if you get enough of it. We get, you know, like seven tons of feathers. Yeah, they're probably bulletproof, but what, why would we need to know that? Why do we need to know anything we test on this channel? What am I doing with my life? I will be very, very surprised if this stops the nine millimeter. Yep, you can hear that ding, meaning it went straight through to our metal target. This is the back pillow. That's the hole where it came through. And then this is splatter. So it, bullet came through, exploded when it hit that metal, splattered back on the pillow. Yeah, that thing, that wasn't slowing down yet. So here's what we're gonna do. I specifically brought out the Maxim 9 because it is a suppressed pistol. So it works like a suppressor, obviously. It quiets it down. Now I wanna test a real suppressor against the Glock with the pillow suppressor. Um, don't really know, yeah, that, that might work. Let, here's what I'm gonna do. In this gun I have loaded a supersonic bullet and then a subsonic bullet underneath it. And in this gun I have a supersonic and a subsonic, just the same. So I think I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot the supersonic out of here first and then a supersonic out of here with the pillow. And then we'll go to the subs. Okay, so no pillow on this one. Here's a supersonic. Yeah, that rang the ears a bit. Not bad though, not bad. And here's a supersonic. And I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. I should be able to tell. Man, this is, this is really not gonna work. All right, I got it wrapped all around this thing. Let's see what it was so loud. That was so much louder than the other one. Okay, it's actually cycled though. There is, yeah, there's another one in there, cool. All right, and this is the subsonic, should be very quiet. Oh, it's like a little baby. All right, look at that burn hole in there. All right, I'm gonna go to a different spot. Really not easy, here we go. Still loud, but not bad. So what I just determined is, it does not work as good as a suppressor but does it work better than nothing? I think so. Let's shoot two unsuppressed guns, one with a pillow, one without. Unsuppressed, same deal. We have supersonic and then subsonic. So I have ears on now. Let's go ahead and do the supersonic. Okay. Same thing here, except this one has a pillow. Still cycle? Impressive, impressive. Okay, and a subsonic. Okay, and a subsonic with a pillow. Let's say you're a special ops kind of guy and you are for some reason on a solo mission and all you have is a nine millimeter pistol and you have to sneak into the terrorist base and assassinate their leader before he can plan some crazy attack that they're planning and then you want to get out alive. Also, our intel shows that there's about 25 other bad guys armed with AK-47s and rocket launchers in this terrorist camp, and it's just you against all of them. So I would say, if you're gonna sneak in there and do it, and you want to be about 20% less loud, because that's probably all you'll get out of a pillow, then go for it. You're not gonna be quiet. But maybe 20% less bad guys with AK-47s and RPGs are going to rush the room after you shoot their leader, so look on the bright side. That's better. There are a lot of companies that modify Glocks into race guns, and that's one of the reasons that it took me so long to decide what I wanted to do. I went with Terran because Terran has won a lot of competitions, so Terran knows what you need out of a race Glock.
also, it's a Glock 17 frame, which means it will also take Glock 18 magazines, the big boys. <laughs> I wanted a custom Glock for so long, and now I have one, and I'm freaking stoked, man. What do you guys think of the Terran Tactical Innovations Combat Master Glock 17L with the Demolition Ranch on the top? So freaking pumped. Also pumped about this. Like, whenever my friends come over now, they can sleep on all these new pillows I have. And the best part about it, they smell like gunpowder, so you'll have sweet dreams all night long. Don't forget, if you're interested in this shirt, there is a link in the description below. And $5 from every shirt goes to help our veterans. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? I'm a doctor. Ish.